Hello, this is Coffee A. Uh, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about game theory. Um, so there's a lot of information floating around everywhere about game theory, you know, Nash equilibriums, optimal play, all this kind of stuff. Um, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about what I talk about in my um, Math and Heads Up, Sit and Goes uh, game theory video. And, you know, the things I focus on are just the practical things that help you improve your bottom line. You know, talking about what a Nash equilibrium is. What properties does Nash equilibrium have? You know, those are the kind of things that help us make money, because when we understand what a Nash Equilibrium is, we're more able to use the, the Nash Equilibrium small blind push fold chart. It's that simple. You know, we don't need to turn game theory into this crazy complicated um, application tool, and we don't need to think take a, a Yale course in game theory to be able to get what we need out of it for HUSNGs. Um, what we need is just an under, a basic understanding of the terms, of what it means to be exploited, and how to make more money. You know, that's the goal in the end. It's how to make more money. And so what I focus on is just, you know, ways that we can apply game theory and sort of results we can take from it. You know, we, things we can use from game theory that will help us in our in-game thinking and in our design of strategies. You know, the overall goal in the end is just to make better strategies, um, ones that go beyond Nash, ones that make more money. And so, you know, remember, game theory is a big topic in the academic world. And for good reason. Uh, it's being used in all sorts of different fields, from sociology uh, to psychology and even biology. Uh, and the reason is just it's such a powerful tool. It can really encompass so many useful things. To not use it in poker, where which is you know a game, which is what it's meant to be used for, is a crime. And so that's why I really think that having at least some basic understanding of game theory, having in the back of your mind the idea of what a Nash equilibrium mean of knowing what game theory optimal play is and of what it means to be exploitive and exploitable. I mean, all these things can only help increase your bottom line. There's no downside. Um, it's, it's something that will help you improve as a poker player because that's its intended purpose. And now they might not be the max EV situations. Nash equilibriums are almost never going to be max EV, but they can often be very plus EV and very useful. And, and knowing what a Nash strategy looks like can really help us in our game and help us find, find places to make more money. And that's again, as always, the goal is to help you make more money when playing HUSNGs. And if you're interested in more detail, my Math and Heads Up Sit and Goes video pack is a great place to get more details. And that's just because I work specifically with HUSNGs. And so, you know, my goals are your goals. My goals are exactly these practical goals of making you more money. This is Coffee A for HUSNG.com. Email me at coffee at gmail.com. Disclaimer. I strongly believe that coffee is not something healthy and not something to be enjoyed every day. I think that if you are looking for healthy ways to avoid overconsumption, perhaps making it through siphons might be complicated enough to take up enough time to make it annoying that you won't want to keep drinking coffee every day. If you're looking for more tips on how to avoid coffee addictions, uh, feel free to contact my wife.